Good morning. It's Tuesday, April 28th. Well, our state and some of the other states around the country are beginning to open up. We feel kind of like a butterfly coming out of her cocoon or a rosebud blooming out or the spring awakening from winter. It is spring after all. But we are a little bit anxious too. What, what's going to happen in the next few weeks, in the next few months? Uh, the doomsdayers are, are telling us that it's going to get a whole lot worse. Um, there's division among people between those who feel like we need to get out and release all the restrictions and those who feel like we need to stay in or else you're going to make me sick. Um, we're just really divided on this issue and who knows what's ahead? With that in mind, I look to Isaiah chapter 30, verse 15, which says, In repentance and rest you will be saved. In quietness and trust is your strength. That's a very nice couple of lines. Would make a nice plaque to hang on your kitchen wall. But there's the next phrase that comes right after it in the same verse. But you were not willing. In quietness and trust is your strength, but you were not willing. Goes on to say that you uh, said in, instead you're going to trust in your horses, not in the Lord. So here's the offer that the Lord is presenting to his people Israel way back then but also to us, I think, as well. Try to trust and try to find rest in your bank account. Find rest in your frail health. Look to your politicians to try to find trust and rest. Or see what kind of rest and relief you can get from government handouts. See where all of that is taking us. See, how's that working out for you? Or you can trust in the living God, in the loving God, and you can find real rest and quietness in him. You remember that Jesus said, come unto me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Let's find rest in him today. Amen.